Hello everyone, welcome to Tanya and Tiana English. English. So today, for our One Word Wednesday, our word is take. We have several examples of this and different ways to use it, so stick with us. So we'd like to explain to you a few of the ways to use the word take and a couple of the ways you wouldn't want to use it. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first one is take a sip. Take a sip. So we use this when we want to take a sip of something that we are drinking and it's usually something hot. Mm -hmm. Give you an example. Take a sip. We use this one a lot in our family when somebody says, oh, can I have a drink of your soda? And the other person says, only if you take a little sip. And the other person <laughs> starts to take a little sip and they're like, you're gulping it. You're <laughs> gulping. To, to gulp something is like gunk, 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 to drink the whole thing right away. So uh -huh. take a sip is little, little. Uh -huh. <laughs> what else? So number two is to take a course. So like if you're going to go to a class at school. Um, so yeah, if I'm going to take courses in the fall at my university. So what courses are you going to take? I'm going to take five classes, but um, let's see, a few of them would be poetry, philosophy, and psychology. I wish I was getting to take some of those courses. <laughs> Which do you think will be your favorite? Probably poetry. <laughs> Tiana loves poetry and has mm -hmm. written a lot of poetry. I've written like two poems in my whole life. <laughs> she writes them all the time. <laughs> all right, number three, take a deep breath. So... When we say take a deep breath, we can actually <laughs> say this in different ways depending on the tone we use and of course our body language. So <laughs> one way you might hear somebody say take a deep breath is like if somebody's having a, a difficult time, you you go, it's okay, just <laughs> let's just take a deep breath. It's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Yeah, or so. if somebody is like overreacting, they're getting hysterical and what I mean by that is they're they're acting like everything is horrible, somebody might say to them, geez, take a chill pill. Or I've heard someone say, God, take a breath. Like, yeah, like slow or down. take a breather. Yes, take a breather. Mm -hmm. So we don't actually mean take a chill pill, like an actual pill. We just mean do something to calm yourself down. Mm -hmm. so, yeah, mm -hmm. and just so you know, these are not uh, chill pills. Where did, oh, here it is. <laughs> it's actually just vitamin C. <laughs> <laughs> All right. All right. So number four is take it or leave it. That means either you're going to get it or have it, or you're just g not gonna take it. <laughs> right. Yeah. So you could use this phrase like if it's something that you don't really care either way about it. Like, uh, do you want to go see the movie we talked about last week? Oh, I could take it or leave it. Mm -hmm. Meaning, eh. I don't really care about seeing it. I could see it, but I don't really need to. Right. Mm -hmm. it's, I'm kind of neutral mm -hmm. on that topic. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. Number five, take it from me. This is, when we say this, we mean believe me. Instead of saying, believe me, we might say, take it from me and then give some advice. Believe me, it's better if you do this instead of that. Or mm -hmm. take it from me, it's better to do this than that. Mm -hmm. All right, number six is it takes all sorts. This is kind of like a phrase we have, um, meaning that it takes many different kinds of people to say we say like make the world go round mm -hmm. to make things work mm -hmm. um, so people that may disagree or have different opinions they all need to be heard 
so that we can make things work. Yes. Um, another idiom that I wouldn't usually say, but people do say it, is uh, different strokes for different folks. <laughs> okay, so I would say that, and I hear people say that all of the time. <laughs> it's a very common idiom for anyone over 24. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe over 30. Yeah. <laughs> and it just means uh, different people like different things. I would probably say that, actually. Different people like different things. Right. And so mm -hmm. an example might be, do you have an example? Um, yeah, I usually like to watch sitcoms or comedy shows. And um, my stepdad likes to watch those things, but he also likes to watch scary movies, mm -hmm. which I do not like to watch. <laughs> so I might say, mm, that's okay. Different people like different things. I don't have to watch the scary movies, and he doesn't have to watch the comedies if he doesn't want to. Well, he usually does, but <laughs> you know, <laughs> he'll watch. It. He'll watch anything. Yeah. But um, I would say different strokes for different folks mm -hmm. in, that, in that case. Number seven are some examples of ways that we don't use take. So, as an example, if someone were going to say, "We want to take a cat or take a dog." when they mean they'd like to get a dog. Now, if we say we're going to take a dog or a cat, we would be saying where we're going to take them away from us. Like, I want to take my dog for a walk, or I want to take my dog to the doctor. Mm -hmm. If we mean we're going to get one, we're going to get a new dog, then we use the word to get. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Another one in which we don't use the word take is if we s said we were going on a vacation and while we're there we're going to take a hotel room no we don't say take a hotel room we would say while we're there we're going to get a hotel room mm -hmm. yeah all right so we want to take a little time there's that word again we want mm -hmm. to take a little time to practice so use any of these any of these phrases and let us know something about them in the comments below or or you could let us know what advice you would give to someone learning English so for example I might say uh, it takes a lot of practice you can take it from me <laughs> so then you could use that phrase two phrases with take, yeah. <laughs> take it from me it takes a lot of practice. Mm -hmm. All right, that's it for today. See you in the next one. Bye. Bye.